Right, and welcome to this tutorial video on how to use Space Claim. Uh, the aim is to play, pause, rewatch, copy exactly what I'm doing so you master a whole range of skills. So, uh, I'll be showing you things that I have to fit between sketch mode and 3D mode, pull and move. Uh, also, tools like rectangle, line, tangent arc, trim away, and offset cut, amongst a few others. Okay, so please um, pause, um, play, pause, rewatch as you need to, and copy everything I've done. Just a few, a few cool uh, buttons you need to be aware of. I would mention spacebar, control, shift, and tab. Um, home, which you can use as H as a shortcut. Uh, delete. And the scroll wheel, if you click down the wheel itself and move the mouse, that uh, allows you to spin around. And if you hold control plus the uh, scroll wheel, press it down, and you can do. You've seen me doing that um, in the great speed. Now, we want to produce a uh, CAD drawing something like that today. So once you've opened Space Claim and you've got a nice uh, clean black drawing, you're going to be in sketch mode. I want to sketch a rectangle. Now click once, drag it out, and I'm going to give you some dimensions. Now before I click again, I'm just going to type in 250, and then tab on your keyboard. That's along two hours, and then we're going to click uh, 150. Enter. Okay, so that was drag it out, uh, 250, tab 150. Now we're going to pull it up to make it three-dimensional. And what I want you to do is go to sketch mode and then pull. Now, as you click and go up, drag it, holding down the thing down on the mouse, you're going to hit spacebar before anything else. Spacebar. Then you can let go of the mouse and type in the exact dimensions. And we're going to use material like six millimeters. So I'm just going to type in six. Okay. Now we're going to do something called uh, I think it's called housing joint, where we cut sections out. So to do that, we're going to click on this edge here, and then we're going to go back into sketch mode. And it's helping now to plan view. Put it down. We're going to zoom in. That's control and the mouse scroll button to zoom in. Now to cut our channel, you're going to draw a rectangle. So click on the rectangle tool, and this time go in the corner, click and drag across. It doesn't matter if you make it too big, because you're going to type in the exact dimensions: six, tab, three, enter. And then you've got a much smaller rectangle. If I uh, hang around with the mouse, you'll see I've got that. Then if I go into 3D mode, there and pull that, I'm just going to carve out that whole channel. And the other bit of material is going to fit in that. If I go to uh, home or H, press that, I click back on this face, back into sketch mode, and then plan view again. And this time I'm going to zoom in on this side. Repeat the same process with a rectangle. Clicking from the corner, going out, and it's six and three. There we go. I'm going to spin it around and then pull that. I'm going to teach you a shortcut here. I can just click on pull, or I can just type P on the keyboard. So I just type P. That then allows me to actually um, carve that out. Just push it all the way through. Has that worked? Not quite. I need to keep on pushing it. All right, once you've done that, let's go home. There's our base. We've got part completed now. What we're going to do, yeah, that's a solid on the side. If I clicked, I could um, just remove it from the screen. But what I want to do is, I want to keep it and I want to keep it as a separate solid which won't connect with others, it won't join up and fuse into one. So the way to do that is you right click on solid and then move to new component. And we're going to call it base. Now, the advantage of this is later I'll be able to explode it like I showed you in the diagram here. And that's only possible when you've got separate components that don't fuse together. So here's our base. Now <clears throat> I'm going to go straight to the sides. I'm going to click on that base and then I'm going to go back into sketch mode. And see it's like sliced it there. So the sketch mode is like a piece of paper. Let's hand this across. And I'm going to draw another rectangle. And it's quite easy to put the dimensions in here. Because if I just click on that corner and go across, I can click on that far corner. Or I could type in the dimension 6, tab 150, enter, and I've drawn myself a rectangle there. Now I'm going to pull that up, so I just click P, and click on that face, drag it up. Now remember, if I want a specific height, I have to hit spacebar, then I can let go of the mouse, and I'm going to type in 200, see how that looks. Right, I want a slightly curved shape, I want to do something different with that face, so I'm actually going to click on there, and go back into plan view and sketch mode. I'm going to zoom in on that. Right, and now I'm going to do my tangent arc, which is that one on the screen. If you hover over it, you'll see tangent arc up there. I click on tangent arc, and I click in the middle. I'm looking for the two little green lines to be parallel there. 
and horizontal. And I click there, and I go down and I look at the two little green lines either side. There you go. And it's a 90 degree line with a 150 mil radius. Great. Now, if I go back into 3D mode before, or if I just type P, spin it around, I can actually push that through. I'm going to click on my face again, go back into sketch mode, and I'm going to finish this off. I'm going to do something called spline now. And spline allows me to click multiple times and a big sweeping curve. Click, 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 click. So I get there. Right click to finish, finish spline. And then what I can do is I go back to 3D mode and pull, or just type in P and then carve that out. Okay, we've got an interesting shape going on there. Uh, now, one thing I want is to have a handle on the front of uh, my unit. So I'm going to do that on one side. Uh, and then I'm going to copy the whole side. Again, back into sketch mode. Uh, I go plan view is helpful. And now we're going to use this thing called offset curve. Okay, if you get offset curve and then on a, a line like that, I go in, I type the exact dimension. I'm just going to type in 10. And then I'm going to type in, type in 15, see how that, how that looks. This is the start of my handle, and I'm actually going to connect that up with a line there to there, and there to there. Now, I could just pull that through if I wanted, but I want it to look a bit more ergonomic, so I'm actually going to click on the circle tool. And if I zoom in here, you should see a small green triangle. That is the exact middle of the line. So if I did a circle there to the end, it's this, the diameter of that is this, oh, sorry, the, um, the diameter is the same length as that line there. I can do the same up here. Okay, now I don't need all of these lines, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim away that button trim and I'm going to delete that one, trim that one, that one, and here. I've just noticed something's gone wrong here. If I zoom in, it's not right. I've got two little um, lines there, so I'm going to redraw my circle. Make sure I go to exactly the right point. Now I'm going to trim away what I don't need. I didn't need that. Yeah, that's that. Right, we're going back to home. There. Now I want to pull that out. So what I want to do is click the pull and carve that shape out. Remember, you should do everything I'm doing. Uh, now this will make sense in a minute. I also want to add a hole. So I'm going to click on that face, sketch mode again. I'm going to draw a circle. Zoom in for this. I'm just going to do it randomly, sort of in that location, and I'm going to make this have a radius of six millimeters. Again, I'm going to pull that through, like so. Right now, that is my uh, side completed. So here's the solid of the side. Remember, I could turn it on and off depending. I don't want it to fuse with any other object. I want it to be its own compartment. So I'm going to right click, move to new component, and I'll give it side. Now, I want that to be on the other side as well, and I want it to be perfectly the same, exactly the same. So there's a way you can do that. If you triple click, one, two, three, I've selected that solid, and now I'm going to move it like this. Now if I just clicked and dragged, I can set an exact distance that I want. I know that that distance is two, four, four to the next side, but I want to copy it at the same time, so let's undo it. What you can do, let me show you again, just triple click, one, two, three, and with move, if I grab on the red arrow, but this time hold control, hold control on the keyboard, and as I drag, it's made a duplicate. Uh, now, duplicate there, I'm still holding control, and I hit spacebar, and now I've typed in the exact dimension. Now, just to show you, if I typed in 250, which is what the length of the base was, it's not lined up quite right because I forgot to take off six millimeters for that gap. So I need to actually type in 244. 244 would be the correct. Okay. Great. I've got my side. Um, I've just realized one thing I wanted to do, so I'm going to delete that. Ah, I forgot to do something. Uh, sketch mode. Uh, home plan view. I want to add a hole to slot in a shell. Let me show you how you do that. If you go line, and then go up from the bottom, I'm going to go up exactly 100. Right, let's try again. So go up exactly 100. And I'm going to go across, let's go 40, and then I'm going to draw a rectangle, rectangle, and that rectangle is going to be 40 across and 6 up. This will make sense in a minute. 
learner call that through. You click on that, call that through, say the whole back. Well, great. Click on that line, you can read better and better more. Now, this will make sense in a minute, but if you just do that, trust me for now. Um, right, so here's the side now, and I want to duplicate that. So again, I'm going to triple click, I'm going to click move, and that's a whole control, drag it across, hit spacebar, and then 244. Okay, that's now position. So that's made another solid. So what I need to do is right click, move to new component, and call it size 2. Now the reason I'm doing all this is I can turn these components on and off, they're not stuck together, it's not one object. At this point, I'm going to add a back to the um, the uh, unit, so I'm going to click on here, and sketch mode. I don't need that line anymore, do I? Delete that. And I'm going to click plan view and have a rectangle from the bottom corner there going up. Now that distance is uh, 197. So I'm going to just type in 197 there and then tab 6, enter. I go back to the home view and 3D mode. You see I've done a rectangle over here, so then you can see it there. Now if I could drag this out, I could drag it the exact distance I want. I'm going to show you a little shortcut. Now, if you start dragging a face, and here it pops up, up to, if you click up to, what I can do is rotate around and click on that face, and it just it does it for me. Now here it's made another solid. I don't want that stuck to anything else, so I'm going to right click, move to new component, bring it back. Right, let's go back to home view. And the only thing we really have to do is add a shelf and something to the forward because it sits on it. <clears throat> now this is going to seem a bit strange, but I'm about to you know, prepare them. I'm going to click on here, and I'm going to go to sketch mode. I'm going to zoom in on the side here, and I'm going to draw a rectangle from here to here. So, and I'm going to pull that through so the P and pull. And hit spacebar and then tap in six. And it's spin it out to this side. And you see it's come through. Now, I'll just uh, turn that around, zoom it across. What I want to do is make that shelf with the two. So I'm going to go back into sketch mode and draw the rest of the shelf. The easiest way to do this is plan view, I think. If I draw another rectangle to the end. Like so. And then I draw another one out here. Let's go to there. Go as far as I can actually. And then I trim away lines I don't need. I don't need that line. And I don't need that line. Now if I go back uh, into, if I just rotate it around, go back into 3D mode. Got three rectangles here. One, two, three. And if I hold control, and select them all, and I'm going to pull them. I can start pulling them out, and I can click up to drag it across, click up to there. Yeah. Right, it's pulled the shaft across. And the only thing left to do is turn around, zoom over here, let's go back to sketch mode, draw myself a rectangle here. Like so, and then pull that out. And I go this is it, so it's gonna come to six millimeters. You can even have it come out here to show where the tooth comes out. Don't have to, but obviously don't do. Okay, uh two final things. Oh, sorry, it's made a new solid there. So all I need to do is right click, move to new component, and call that shelf. Remember every part you lay I need to make a new component. If I go to home view, now this is where it's better because what I could do is, like, for example, start turn off the sides and you can see how that shelf actually works, how it fits, how the, the sides slot together. That's a great thing with components. Uh, I'm going to add two more parts. First thing I'm going to click on this face, go into uh, plan view and uh, sketch mode, zoom in right here, draw myself a circle, like that, and if we go back to home view, Zoom in a bit. I need to be in sketch mode now. Uh, so 3D mode now, and then pull. What it is, I'm going to click on that. I need to zoom in sometimes. Click on the face there. 
and I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to click up to and I click on the other side here and it'll go up to that base. Made a new solid, I'm going to right click, move to new component and I'm going to call it DAO. And then the final thing, I want to add like a divider at the back. That, that DAO is going to stop things falling off. Click on here, sketch mode, plan view. I'm going to draw a line first so I've got an exact measurement. I'm going to come out here, 50. I'm going to draw a rectangle down. Remember the distance there is going to be six millimeters thick and it says 91, so it's going to be 91. And then go back into, I don't need this line, so I can trim that line now at the top. And then I can go back into 3D mode. I'm cool. That. Up to. That. And then the final thing, I've made it a solid there. So everything, so right click, move to the component and call it, uh, I'm going to call it Divider. All right, there you go. That's going to be key shotting or exploding or whatever you want. If you did want an exploded joint, I would save that, I would screenshot that. But you could triple click on these, for example, I could move that. As, a, as long as I remember the distance I'm pulling these apart, let's move that to 50. Let's move the back on the green direction to 50. This one. Red direction, 50 that way. You have a nice exploded drawing there. All right. If everything I've done, pause, play, play pause, rewatch, and let me, uh, let me see your CAD scale. Thanks a lot.